It was a decade ago now that we first got a taste for pop punk's Fallout Boy, and it was music that went down a tree. Four mates, Patrick, Pete, Joe and Andy, went from an underground hardcore band to global superstars almost overnight. After four discs, the boys took time out in 2009, only to surprise fans with not just a new single, but the announcement of a new album and tour. Great song. Please welcome Fallout Boys, Pete Wentz and Patrick Stone. It is, it is an actual cracker, the same guy. Um, <laughs> let's go back to, to, to 2009 when, when you, I suppose, you went your separate ways. There were a lot of rumours about that. Was that just, you know, having a break? Is that what you described that it as? It was having a break, but, um, you know, it's really, it's, it's much more fun in press to say that it was a breakup, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and, then, uh, and then you'll tell kids, like, yeah, well, no, we're just done breaking. Like, fine, well, where's your new record? And you're like, ah, that is the problem, isn't it? So. <laughs> at the time, everybody, uh, you know, was stunned because you were at the top of your game, top of the world. And there was rumours that the breakup kind of happened here in Australia. It wasn't us, was it? Did we? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. No. Can we do something differently? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you did fine. You did fine. <laughs> we had a it was lot. Us, not you. We had a lot of feedback on on this today from people wanting us to ask you questions. And Renee Watson says, "I cried for days when you announced your breakup three years ago. Promise me that you will never ever do that again." Don't shed another tear, Renee. <laughs> <laughs> here, I can't say no. We're here. Carrie says it's Renee. It was actually <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> Thanks, Richie. Um, now, Pete, you've had a, a big few years. Got a little boy now. I do. Bronx, he's, how's he's it big. going? Yeah. He's like. Uh, Almost my size. He's almost carrying me. <laughs> Got any musical tendencies? Uh, I think he'll probably be into math. If it's, oh. you know, like I think that might be the rebellion because I don't know anything about math. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. he's so cute. Oh. He looks Australian though, kind of, doesn't he? Yes. Surfer dude. Yeah, surfer. Yeah, Is that why you're on tour now? He's, you need a break or you, you're missing it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just so bad on that. You must have kids. <laughs> He's very, uh, yeah, he does like a version of our song in the car with me that's pretty funny, you know. Uh, it, it, it makes me laugh in a way, but if he sees me crack a smile, there's like that like look that where he's like, you're not laughing at me. It's like, you're not laughing at me, look. It's very serious. So. <laughs> <laughs> now, your, your music's evolved a lot over the years. What's different about this album? Uh, I mean, this one, I think more than any of them, we've had a harder time to describe. Um, I learned how to play bass, so... That's so that's good. a new thing, yeah. we're, we're good at what we do. <laughs> well, um, uh, no, it's just kind of, um, I don't know, it's a natural progression. Uh, nothing exciting to, to, nothing exciting we to, like to, to describe it. I would write a terrible new... bumper sticker for yeah. it. Like. Yeah, well, this, there's some new f names, obviously not new names, in the musical world, but you've done your collaborations in the past. And this time you decided to head down a slightly controversial Courtney Love, Elton John. What was that conversation like? Who should we get on our album? These guys. <laughs> Elton John's one of those ones where, pick two. Yeah, <laughs> Elton John's one of those ones where it's like, if Elton John is like interested in, in working with you, then you just say yes. Yeah. That's like, that was, that was definitely not us going like, I, uh, maybe we'll work with this Elton fellow. Like, <laughs> I noticed you yeah. didn't ask Justin Bieber. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or did you? Or denied. <laughs> no, but I feel like uh, with Courtney, uh, we've, we've come across her a couple times in the past. And every time I feel like I was saying earlier that I feel like I was like 75 drinks into the night and I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe, you know, but someone else was like, well, she was probably like about 100 in as well, you know, so, uh, but she was great to get on the album and she's like, if anything, you know, the album's called Save Rock and Roll, if anything's rock and roll, it's Courtney Love. Mm. Yeah. Now, I had a rumor that you hold the Guinness World Record for most interviews in 24 hours. I don't, Is this true? I don't know if we still hold that record. I actually heard there was a, there were like, like what, a pair of brothers in New Zealand or something who were like going, trying to get all the records that were like gettable, I guess. Hello, Guinness. What what record can I do from my house? Hello, interviews, no yeah. problem. Yeah, so, so I don't know if we still hold it, but we did for a minute, and it was. How many did you do? I it, it actually didn't seem like that much. We did it for like twelve hours, and and by the end of it, I was like. No, but it was a lot like the guys would ring in, and they we only have like a minute with everybody, and they like there was like sports, you know, because in in, in America there was like only a certain amount of mu music stuff we could even do, so there'd be like sports ones, and the guys would be like, your band suck, and it'd be like, <laughs> click. <laughs> <laughs> Boys' new album, Save Rock and Roll, is out on April 12th. Please thank Pete Wentz and Patrick Stump.